Spanish toilet and I just ordered my parts. This is the Sienna Trifold and it's uh, 135. I got them down for maybe 30 bucks discount. Unfortunately, they don't have any Siennas. I wanted to really check out uh, the Sienna because they had a couple anniversary editions and woodland edition coming in. But I didn't time it right. So I want to just do a compare between our Sienna versus theirs, but they didn't have it. But I managed to secure our Triphone mat. And that is at a $30 discount versus buying online. So all good. Okay, so just left Bay Ridge Toyota, got my parts. Here is a trifold for a 2021 Sienna. And here it is. Let's see how it is. It got shipped from Jersey. Take it back and see how it goes. All right guys, so like I said, I was trying to get a part for the Sienna. And then here we have the GR Corolla. My first time I was just walking by about to cross the street. I looked in, saw the calipers, saw the grill, and then I immediately came right back in. Uh, as you can tell, the inventory in here is all sold out, right? But this one is unspoken for. If you guys want to take a look, we are at Bay Ridge Toyota. We got this right here. This is a GR Corolla. This is the base, not the non Marizo one, so I guess it's not the, the flat, the flat painted one. But this is, this is nice. I'm gonna just do a quick walk around tour. Uh, I told I'm not gonna sit in it. Um, but here you got the front, the functional hood and the fu functional brake ducts. One of the cooler calipers, the brakes. The front grill that is drilled, pre-drilled for the plates. The air intakes here, the inducts, very functional. Wow. We have some fog lights right there in the front. Again, functional duct. You got LED turn indicators right here. You got your functional grill right here on the fender. GR badge. These are 235-40s over 18s with some multi-spoke wheels, I believe. These look like 10-spoke wheels or even more. Probably four pots in the front, slotted rotors. This is amazing. And we got GR4 right there on the side sills. Moving over here. And you got your Tri exhaust exclusive to the GR Corolla. It's a hatch. You got your side reflectors right there. Your reverse camera. Roof, top, shark fin, spoiler. Just gonna go ahead and take a look inside. Right along the door panels, this part right here. Hard touch plastic. Right here is a flat finish door handle. This right here is fabric. All right, moving along. This is an all exclusive six speed. You got heated steering wheel. That's very interesting. Manual telescoping steering wheel. The steering wheel feels pretty interesting. I think much nicer than the Sienna, in my opinion. Heated steering wheel should be on nine and three. Digital cluster, multimedia, six speed, drive mode. Here is very basic, in my opinion, versus the Civic Type R, where it has a much nicer interior, to be honest. But it is a five-seater versus the Type R, which is a four-seater only. The seats in the Type R are much nicer. 
here we have fabric seats. Bolstering is on point, it's nice, nice and firm. Do we have heated seats? I think we do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the G. The start stop button is very nice. Got the GR right there. Right there is a heated seat option. It should have a wireless charger. All right, you got your all season mats. Here, let's check out the back. I got the wheels, man. Thank you. Taking a look in the back. All fabric, black colored seat belts versus the red color and the Type R. The roof line, the roof headliner is very interesting. It's an interesting material. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't scream quality, but this thing should be very fun to drive. All wheel drive, you have your USB charging ports in the back, I believe. Right here, USB C, you have a 12 volt. Right. And overall, you have your latch points for your car seats. And we'll go ahead and just pop the hatch because this is a hatch after all. Close. You got your privacy cover, tunnel cover. You got your 60-40 split, no pass-through. Side pockets here. Jerry Corolla mats, all-season mats. Tire inflation kit, battery. So overall, this thing's all about the drive, probably. All about the drive. Thing. Is that functional as well? Here we got the exhaust right here. I was geeking out about this whole car for sure. But taking a look at the interior again, it's just a little bit disappointing. Um, you got your manual adjustment seats. And let's check out the cup holders again the center console uh, this is just this doesn't open I think this is just a mat one more thing JBL system JBL sound system so I was just speaking to sales right there and then they want eight over so eight over will put this to almost 50 50 um, really? it's nice I mean it's nice on the outside I think it's you know it's a little bit I'm, I'm past this look but it's still Car enthusiasts to car enthusiasts. This is, I wish I could drive this, but of course not. But I just wonder what this is. I guess it's very functional. Yeah, the, uh, this is like the open air intake to put more air to cool the engine. The air box is right here. I guess it feeds, it funnels into this intake tube and then right into the filter housing. As we take a look closer, wow. Very interesting. And I want to see if LED lights, uh, LED lights, are they standard? Let's see. So what are standard features? 1.3 cylinder, three cylinder, 300 horsepower. Uh, interior, we got your, was it the JBL system? from here. Uh, these things are nice. So we have auto LED headlamps. So these are LEDs. Everything about this is functional. You see from here, I'm guessing the vents. Yeah, I think the vents here are functional for sure. These are functional. And overall, these tires are, are sticky. These are Michelin, or these Cup Pilot Sport 4s. The wheels are nice. These are multi-spoke, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. These are more than 10 spoke wheels. More than 10 spoke wheels. Performance wise, these should be four piston brakes. Should be Brembo's. Very nice. Only thing about this is the interior, just excuse me 
for inputting my opinion, but the interior is a little bit basic compared to the Type R. Compared to the Type R, this is because the seats, first of all, the seats, the Type R base seats. And it, I think the Type R is, what, is it 40? I forgot what the base price for the Type R is before markups, but the Type R brings a heavily more high quality interior. Um, again, Type R seats, I don't, I don't want to turn this into its Corolla versus Civic debate, but Type R seat has all red Alcantara suede. We got the red leather seat belts versus this one, right? But again, Type R, you got your front wheel drive versus this all wheel drive. And in the rear, again, you have a cup holder over here, but nothing on the side, no shelf. Uh, grab handles, this is, this is fabric, hard touch plastic, very lightweight handle, plasticky finish. Uh, no map pockets and no map pockets. Let's see the center fold. You got your cup holders here, and that's about it. Um, plush seats, firmer on the, the inner boards. And then, that's about it. We got a, we got a couple people filming. But again, overall it's a very nice car on the exterior. It's very unique, especially these tri-exhausts right here. And just overall, the rear is is unique. It's uh, you could definitely go. You can't mistake in this for a regular Corolla hatch for sure. Once you see this, it's a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more wider. Uh, shock pin antenna, color matched. We have a little bit of a hump here, I guess, for aerodynamics. And I'm just wondering what this part is. Is it like, it's it was well, definitely functional, but I guess for air to pass through. And I'll give you guys a closer look at the under exhaust system. And I think that's about it. You have a little bit of flare here. And overall, pretty, pretty cool. Very nice. And <laughs> that is about it. I'm getting, a, there's a, this car is attracting a good amount of crowd. So from here, that's on my end, that's it. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for tuning in. I was very surprised to find this here and thank you again to Bayridge Toyota. So that was a pretty funny chain of events where I'm, I'm out here buying parts for my minivan and I'm leaving. I, I figured the showroom was pretty much empty because I kind of walked past it. And then on my way back at the very corner, I saw a Corolla silhouette. I see the fender the grills i see i couldn't see the gr but i saw the, the the grill itself and i'm like it has to be a gr but no way it's still i'm, I'm figuring i'm figuring it was taken for it but when i went inside there it was and then i was like is this video uh, uh vehicle sold and goes, no it's all yours if you want it so that was that i asked if i could go ahead and film and shout outs to bay ridge toyota specifically derek who gave me full access to it, gave me the keys. Well, he, he, he opened the car. I, I, I told him I'm not gonna sit inside. Same type of treatment that um, Bay Ridge Honda expected from me. I went ahead and uh, passed along this type of treatment expectations uh, to Bay Ridge Toyota. Now, um, I think it's uh, very interesting. I think it's a very interesting car. Uh, for the price, MSRP, two MSRP versus the FL5, the new Type R, which one would I pick? Would I pick the GR Corolla, which is all-wheel drive, 1.3 liter turbo versus the 2.0? Uh, Front-wheel drive, quite honestly, I would pick the Civic Type R. I think uh, both cars are, are like, they, uh, they attract attention. Uh, both, go, both cars are one of the hottest, uh, economy cars right now that are tuned to be sporty and to be performance oriented but in terms of choosing between either if i had to have my pick i would pick the type r because of the first of all i, I like the look better they're both hatches but the type r has a way better hatch um, in terms of space it's much longer though right it's much longer uh, again front wheel drive 
but it also has a way better interior. And in my opinion, I really like the color, the Boost Blue color. So uh, yeah, I would do the GR86 though with the Neptune Blue. I think that's nice. I think I would choose that over the BRZ, but that's a completely different topic for a completely different video. Um, but overall, I think the Type R has uh, nicer seats, uh, more of a quality interior, uh, more uniqueness to it, um, red seat belts and all that. If you're into that, it's a numbered car with a specific plaque. Um, the cluster and the infotainment system is better. I think it has a better sound system, the Bose sound system. And um, overall, I, I, I'm geeking out over the Type R more than the Corolla. Corolla, I was very excited to see it on the showroom. I was surprised that it wasn't sold. Um, but overall, once I got a look inside and sat inside, material-wise and everything like that, for it was a $40,000 MSRP asking price. But with the 8,000 markup, not saying, you know, it's fair or not. It's definitely up to you guys, who are, whoever the buyer is, you know, it's their judgment on, in terms of price. But that is a $50,000 car with the markup over that with tax so I don't know it's like imagine if I were to buy it and then I, I chose this over a Sienna imagine the sacrifices I'll have to make as a you know as a parent and everything like that that's very selfish right in terms of that but but I am striving for that additional income first off for a, a, a house but secondly for you know a, a car that I am going to be driving for fun so that's about it that's about it um thanks for watching i didn't expect it to to be another video i feel very productive today and i feel like you know uh i'm very excited to do the editing to see how much material i got from it but on that note thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one take care <laughs>